Hey everyone, Mini Board Dasher here, and I am back with my review uh, that I will be doing for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Series 2 Heroclix Gravity Feed set. I finally completed the set. Um, it will be on uh, eBay uh, and uh, my fa uh, different Facebook uh, Heroclix groups for sale. Uh, so be on the lookout for the link to my eBay so you can purchase these uh, figures. Um, so stay tuned for that uh, to be added and uh, without further ado, let's get to the review Hey all mini board guys are back here, and here's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Series 2 Hero Clicks, the complete set uh, for Series 2 um, This and the uh, starter set will be on my eBay shop for uh, sale as well as uh, several Facebook uh, Hero Clicks uh, sales websites Stay tuned for the e link to my eBay shop, which you can purchase these and the uh, starter set in my videos. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's go to over each miniature, what they have for their uh, effects, their dials, and let's uh, see them. So we will be going from right to left, and left to right, and in that formation. So we'll start off with the Cobraman Sek uh, 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 uh Sidestep as his movement with the nine movement. See if I can get that in here. So he has sidestep with nine movement, so he's able to move two spaces for free action. Attack uh, power is called Venomous, uh, Venomous Spit. Give Cobra Man uh, Sakazi a ranged combat action that deals no damage. Head characters place a Venom token on their card at the beginning of your turn. If the opposing character has any Venom tokens, uh, each one is dealt one penetrating damage if they haven't already been dealt damage by this effect this turn. Character with a Venom token may uh, be given a power action to remove all Venom tokens from that character's card. So, you basically, when you, you do an, uh, a ranged attack, you hit them, they get a Venom token next turn, they'll take it penetrating, but then they can use an action to remove it later on. For his defense, he has 17 defense with toughness and 3 damage on his first click. Second click here. We maintain a lot of the same abilities. He has sidestep for movement. He still got his 10 attack with a special ability for his attack. 17 defense toughness. But now he has close combat expert with 2 damage. So that could be bumped up to 4. Next click. He maintains sidestep and he maintains all his uh, uh, same ability, so 9 uh, movement, um, 9 attack, which so it's reduced by 1 for his attack. 17 defense is continua, continues here with uh, toughness and 2 range, uh, 2 close combat expert. Next click. So here he gains charge for his movement with movement of 8. So that means he can uh, move uh, half his uh, speed and make a uh, close combat attack as a free action. He has 9 attack with with um, poison now, so all uh, adjacent characters opposing can take poison damage. And then he has 16 defense now with toughness, and 3 close combat expert, so he can deal 5 damage at the max. So that's pretty good. And then his next click, he still maintains his 8 charged uh, speed, 9 poison attack, 16 Toughness defense, but he loses his close combat expert and just has 3 damage. And then next click. He continues with 8 movement uh, with charge. He has 9 attack with poison, 16 defense with toughness, and 2 damage. And finally, 7th click, he's gone. So that is the Cobra Man Sakazi. Let's move on to our next one here. Our next one is Master Kaiunchi. He also, before I get uh, to any other points, uh, the Kurman Sakazi is uh, 75 points. Now let's get on to the next model. The Master Kaiunchi. He is 45 points. You can see that there. Okay. He has a range of 0. Uh, and the range on the Cobra Man is 4, for those wondering. Um, on his first click, he has uh, stealth with 8 movement. He has 10 attack with blaze claws fangs, uh, 16 defense 
with uh, combat reflexes and two damage close combat expert. So he can be good. He's a very good close up. So he can do more damage here. Second click. He has still 8 stealth, 10, 10 blades, claws, fangs, attack, 16 uh, combat reflexes, and 2 um, close combat expert. Next click here. He goes down to, he has still 8 movement. He has 9 attack with, uh, looks like precision strike now. Yeah, precision strike. Uh, he also has 15. 15, uh, there's that. Let's move on to our next click here. We have 7 movement, 9 attack now with uh, energy absorption. So he can take um, health, he can regenerate health, number of damage he deals. And then he also has super senses for his defense with 16 defense and uh, 2 damage. His 5th click has 7 movement, 10 with his absorbing uh, for healing, uh, 16 defense super senses and 3 damage. And in a 6th click, he goes uh, 7 movement, 11 attack with the absorption, uh, and uh, 17 defense super senses and 3 damage. And then he is killed. So, as you're seeing, uh, everyone, there's a pattern of 7 clicks of health, even on the lower models. So there is this one. Next, let's move on to Alpha the Magnet Warrior and the Magnet Warrior Trio. Here is Alpha the Magnet Warrior. He is 90 points. He has a range of zero. Uh, his first click has a eight movement for charge. Uh, his attack is 10 with blades, claws, fangs. His defensive power is Alpha, the man and warrior, can, uh, can use combat reflexes and toughness. So not only does he have combat reflexes for close combat attack, he also has toughness. And then he has two uh, damage with his um, empower, which is pretty good. Then we have his next click, uh, a movement still with charge, 10 attack with blades, claws, fangs. Defensive power is still the same and 2 in power for damage. Next click, he has uh, a, mo a charge still, 9 attack now with a special ability for attack, which is called Shield Bash. Alpha the Magnet Warrior can use Incapacitate. When he does, after action is resolved, he can use, uh, if, can use Incapacitate again as a free action, but um, I only target the same character. So he can actually incapacitate, put two action tokens on the opposing characters instead of one. If he can hit them both times. So he can really knock them out. Uh, at least make them not able to act or do anything. And he has 17 defense with his ability still. And 3 damage with him power. And then his next click moves down to 7 movement with charge. 9 with the shield bash. 16 with toughness for his defense and 3 damage. And then he has, uh, on this click, he has, focus in there, 7 movement with uh, charge, 9 uh, attack with his uh, capacity state skill, uh, 16 uh, defense with toughness and 3 damage. Next click, he has, so this is click number 6, he has 7 movement, 9 attack with his uh, capacity state attack. 16 defense with toughness and 3 damage. And then he's killed. And another thing to note about the Magnet Warriors is they all share the same ability or trait on the card, which states <clears throat> when three friendly characters with the Magnet Warrior keyword with different enemies are on the map, damage dealt to Alpha, the Magnet Warriors reduced by 1 in addition to all other effects. So if you have all three, each one takes one less damage, which is pretty good. Let's get to Beta the Magna Warrior next. And Beta has a nice little trick up his sleeve. His, uh, he has a, a trait uh, of the same, and I'll explain to you his 
um, attack of skill, which is very useful. As you can see, it has a range of zero. He costs 80 points. So, first click, he has uh, 8 movement for a charge, 11 attack with a special, 17 defense with toughness, and 3 uh, damage with exploit weakness. Now, the special attack says Bait of the Magnet Warrior can make a, has a range value of 6. When he makes the range attack and hits, place the head character in a square adjacent to Beta, the Magnet Warrior, and then it may make a close combat attack as a on the tar targeting the same character as a free action. So the main thing you want to do with your Magnet Warriors to eventually get out to your Valkyrion is have them all adjacent, have Beta draw them in, hit with Gamma sometime, or if Beta hits, that works too. And there are, you know, uh, Alpha, whoever. And if they're all adjacent, you bring out the Valkyrian. So that's the idea of the Magnet Warriors. Is to band together in adjacent squares. Bring them close, hit them, transform. Fuse. Okay, next click. He has a movement of 8 for charge. He maintains the same attack power uh, of, of 10 with the ability. His shield value is 17 with toughness. And he has three damage with exploit weakness. Next click. He has eight movement, uh, ten attack still with uh, his special attack, sixteen defense with toughness and three damage. And then we move on to his fourth click, which has seven with sidestep, nine uh, attack with precision strike, sixteen defense with super senses, and two damage. And next click, we have 7 movement with um, uh, sidestep, uh, 9 attack with a precision strike, 16 defense with uh, super senses, and um, on to a 6 click, which has 7 with sidestep, 9 with precision strike, 16 defense with super senses, and 2 damage with exploit weakness. So he's going to go down fighting and kill it. That's beta. Now, the next one does have a little good little niche about him when you're moving your magnet warriors to get into position gamma the magnet warrior is 130 points he has the flight ability or the flight movement so he can carry one other character so what you're going to want to do most of the time is have these two Use uh use him to move him around. Get your beta to move normally, and then next turn have him get into close combat. Beta uh, and gamma clear, and then once you do that, once you get to your next turn, you can get him. You can move him back potentially. Uh, beta can attack something. Draw close make an attack and then they're all adjacent so that's the general idea of the strategies that you can do as well so going on to gamma the magnet warrior his first click he's a beefy one he has see if i can get in there eighth movement with uh charge he also has an attack power which says he can use quake and precision strike and he has uh, invulnerability with 18 defense and 3 damage close combat expert. So he can push pretty hard close. We then move to a second click or third, yep, second click. 8 movement charge, 10 attack with his ability, 17 defense invul, and 2 damage close combat expert. And next we have his third click, which is 8. Movement charge, 10 uh, attacks with a special, 17 defense, toughness, and 2 damage close combat expert. We then move on to click number 6 or 4. So 7 movement charge, 9 movement attack with a special ability, and 17 defense toughness, and 2 damage with exploit weakness now. And then his next click, 7, def seven at movement sidestep. 9 attack with no special, 16 defense toughness, and 2 damage exploit weakness. 
And then his final click, 17 movement sidestep, 9 attack, 16 defense toughness, and 2 damage uh, exploit weakness. And finally he's gone. Or nope, he's got another one here. So he's a bigger one. For 7 uh, movement with uh, sidestep, 8 attack, uh, 16 defense toughness, and 2 uh, exploit, damage to exploit weakness. Now he's out. So he's going to be your big, most of the time, going to be your big uh, hitter of the three. Okay. Next we have Electric Lizard. Electric Lizard comes in at, uh, let's see here. He comes in at 57 points. He has no, he has five range, two targets. And uh, let's get to his first click. A special attack power, which we'll get when we get there. So we have, come on, focus in there. Eight movement with uh, leap climb. Um, ten attack with energy explosion, and seventeen defense with super senses and two damage. Next, um, click. Come on, little guy. Next click, we have uh, 8 movement with Leap Climb, 10 attack now with uh, um, Pulse Wave. We have 17 defense with uh, Toughness and 3 damage. Next click, 7 movement with, if we gain any more movement, 7 with Leap Climb, uh, 9 attack with Energy Explosion. And uh, toughness with 17 defense and 2 damage. We have 7 movement, 9 attack with uh, pulse wave, 16 defense with toughness, and 2 damage. And next click here 7 uh, movement, 9 attack with uh, pulse uh, wave, uh, 16 defense with toughness, and 2 damage. And then last click, he's KO'd. So that's the Electric Lizard. We have Yagarasu coming in at 50 points. He also has the Flight uh, Movement. Okay. He has Sonic Speed for his movement. This means he can move, uh, attack, and move again. So he's pretty pretty good there. And the number of his hypersonic speed is 8. 9 attack with Precision Strike. 16 defense with willpower and 2 damage. Next, he has the next click, he has 7 hypersonic speed, 9 attack with precision strike, and 16 defense with uh, willpower and 2 damage with power. Pretty good. Next click, we have 7 movement with hypersonic speed. 10 attack, 16 defense, with no, so no uh, defense power there, or will power, but 2 damage with empower. Next click, we have 8, uh, 7 movement, with his uh, earthbound neutralized, so he cannot fly. We have him with 8 attack, 16 defense, and 2 damage. And then he's KO'd. So not necessarily a big flyer there, or a big hitter of any sort. Okay. Next we have Boar Soldier. He comes in at 85 points. He has a range of zero. Oh, and also you got a grouse whose range is zero as well. All right. Um. So Boar Soldier's here. All right. His first click. He has. Um, 10 movement with a special, 11 attack, 17 defense interval, and 3 uh, uh, damage uh, with his exploit weakness. His movement power is called Boar Rush. Boar Soldier can use Charge. It can charge normally, or Bear Soldier can be given a double power action to use Charge and doesn't have to um, have its speed. So that's pretty good. We got that. And the second click. Keeps his movement power with 9, 10 attack, 17 involved, 3 uh, 
exploit weakness for damage. He then gains charge, so he has 9 uh, movement with charge, 9 attack, 16 defense toughness, and 2 damage exploit weakness. And then we have 8 movement with charge, 10 attack with precision strike, um, 16 defense with toughness and 2 damage. And then we have next click, which is 8 movement with charge, 10 attack with uh, precision strike, 15 defense with toughness and 3 damage. And then we have his last click, which is click number 6. 7 movement with charge, 9 attack with precision strike, 15 defense with toughness, and 3 damage. And he's KO'd. And our next figure here is the Forest Hunter. Forest Hunter is 54 points, has a range of 5. First click, has leap climb, 8 movement, has, as you can see, precision targeting, so it can uh, go through characters. And such, doesn't strike. 17 um, defense, and combat reflexes, and two uh, damage uh, range combat expert. Next, we have eight movement with leap climb. We have 10 attack uh, with precision strike. Uh, 17 defense with uh, combat reflexes, and two damage with range combat, range combat expert. Next, on the next click, we have eight movement with leap climb. We have nine um, attack with incapacitate and uh, 16 defense with comma reflexes and 3 damage next click is 7 with sidestep movement um, see if I can get in here. 10 attack with incapacitate 16 defense with combat reflexes and 2 damage and the last click is 7 movement with side, uh, sidestep 9 attacks 17 defense and 2 damage and it has 5 range. That is the Forest Hunter. Okay. Next, we have the Thorn Princess. She comes in at 68 points. She has a range, it says 4. And her clicks. She has 8 movement with a special. 10 attack with poison, 17 defense with indomitable or willpower, and um, 2 damage. Her movement special is called Thorny Control. Thorn Princess can use Mind Control and Plasticity. When Thorn Princess uses Mind Control, she can use Improved Targeting through Hindering Terrain. So that's pretty good. Movement still without ability, 10 attack with poison, 17 defense with willpower, and 2 damage. 8 movement with her special power. Uh, 9 attack with poison, 17 defense with uh, barrier, so that's pretty good, and 2 damage. Her next click here, movement with mind control, 9 attack with poison, um, 16 defense with barrier, and 2 damage. And her next click, up, 9 movement with mind control. 9 attack, now she has a uh, smoke cloud, um, 16 defense with generation and 1 damage, 7 movement, 9 attack with smoke cloud, 16 defense with generation and 1 damage, and then she's killed. So she's more of a close combat poison technical type character now with Storm Princess next we have Balloon Lizard he has a flight he is 60 points he has a range of 0 let's check him out here with sidestep 9 attack with blades cause fangs and 17 defense with uh, toughness and 3 damage movement with uh, Sidestep, uh, 9 attack with blades cause fangs, 18 defense with toughness and 2 damage. Next we have 7 movement with sidestep, 8 attack with blades cause fangs, 17 defense 
with toughness and two damage. Six movement, eight attack, uh, 16 defense with um, super senses, and three damage. And then, next click is five movement, eight attack, sickness actually. So all those clicks are toughness, so not super senses. And he's KO'd. Alright. Next is the four star Ladybug of Doom. Uh, has a damage power called Route to the Ladybug. Um, modify four star Ladybug's Doom attack and damage by plus one. When targeting a character of 100 points or less on an attack. So let's check out the stats. It has range of zero. It's 40 points. Here. First click has 8 mm with charge, 9 attack, 16 defense with. This one has super senses. And 2 damage with uh, shape change. Yep, shape change. Very basic. And next click, 8 movement charge, 9 attack, 16 defense with super senses, and 2 uh, or shape change, and 2 uh, damage with super senses. 8 movement with charge, 9 attack, um, 16 defense with super senses, but no shape change, so uh, 2 damage for regular by itself. And then it's final click is 7 movement, 8 attack, 16 defense with super senses, and 1 damage. So it's not the highest of stats. It's KO'd. Of Dark Assailant. He has a range of 0. He's 54 points. Regular movement. He has 8 uh, movement stealth. He has 9 attack with a special, 17 defense with super senses, and 2 damage without wit. So that's pretty good. His uh, attack of power is called Ebon, so Ebon Sword. Dusk, uh, Dark Assailant can use Blades, Claws, Fangs. When it does and resolves a 1, deal 1 unavoidable damage after the action resolves. Face a 6, give the target. Of the attack and action token while it resolves. That's pretty interesting. Just go to his click here. Eight movement as other click uh, for movement. Ten attack with special. Um, Need defense with super sense is now what? Then we have uh, next click is eight stealth movement. Nine attack blades, claws, fangs. Seventeen defense super se uh, senses and. Uh, two damage with the uh, Balfiri. Yep, Balfiri. Then we have next is nine movement, nine attack of blade, sixteen defense with toughness, and two damage of Balfiri. Next click, ten movement, eight attack of blade, cause fangs, sixteen defense with toughness, and one damage with Balfiri. And then finally he's killed. So that's it for him. That is Dark Assailant. Next we'll move on to Fiber Jar. Fiber Jar has a range of zero. He is uh, 30 points. He has his own trait, which we'll take a look at in a sec. His stats are uh, five movement phasing teleport, zero attack. Um, 16 uh, defense with energy deflection and zero damage with perplex. Next is four uh, movement phasing teleport, zero attack, 16 defense, uh, energy deflection, zero damage perplex. Next is three movement phasing teleport, zero attack, 15 defense, energy. Um, uh, deflection and zero damage with shape change. Next click is two 
movement with uh, phasing teleport, zero attack, 15 defense with um, energy deflection and zero damage or shape change. And he is gone, so that's his. Not a lot, he's more of a support character. More support monster, if you wish to call him that. And Fire Jar special trait says. Um, when Fire Jar is killed, heal all characters one click. So that's interesting. Next, we have an additional Black Chaos. This is going to be one of your sideline characters. I will explain. He has the um, trait uh, ritual. Uh, when additional Black Chaos is on your sideline, and all at least. 90 points of friendly characters have been KO'd. You may place, put, give any friendly character with the Ugi Muto or Dark keyword a free action. When you do, KO that character and put um, additional black chaos on the starting click in a square that character is occupied. Um, to uh, the player, may only use ritual once per game. So if you, your opponent knocks out 90 points at least worth of models, you choose that model is KO'd, choose another one that has Yugi Muto or uh, Dark Keyword, sacrifice the other one, and then put him on the field, uh, maximum click, and uh, no uh, action token. So he can do something, so that's pretty good. We're going to look at his dial here. He has a couple special things. So he has 10 movement with running shot. 11 attack with a special ability, 18 defense um, with um, uh, invulnerability, and 4 damage with that one. Now his power for his attack is called Chaos Scepter Blast. Magician Block Chaos can use Energy Explosion and Penetrating Psychic Blast. When he does, place a ch uh, Chaos Token on the character's card that was hit, um, and only if it doesn't have one. And when a character with the Chaos token makes an attack roll, you may remove the Chaos token and then force it to reroll and cancel that roll. So you can make your opponent reroll and stuff, which is pretty good. And the second click is 10 movements still with a running shot. Uh, it also has um, 11 attacks still with a special ability, uh, 18 defense on uh, vol, and 4 damage with that whip. Next we have 10 movement running shot again, 10 uh, attack with the special ability, 17 defense with invul, and 4 uh, damage with outwit. And then we switch it a little bit, we have 9 movement with running shot, uh, 10 attack with penetrating psychic blast, uh, 17 defense with impervious, and 4 damage with probability control. So that's that. And then next click. 9 movement with phasing teleport, 10 attack with, with penetrating psychic blast, 17 defense and vulnerability, and 3 damage with uh, probability control. Next click is 9 uh, movement with phasing teleport, um, 10 attack with uh, pulse wave, and uh, 17 defense with now it's toughness, and it has 3 damage with probability. Next click has 8 with uh, pulse wave, 17 defense with toughness, and uh, 3 damage with uh, perplex. You can see it there. Next one is 8 with an attack with uh, or phasing teleport, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 9 attack with uh, pulse wave, 17 defense with toughness, and 3 damage with perplex. And he's killed. Next character here, we have the wolf. He is, oh, and also the Dark Magician of Chaos has uh, eight range with one target, and he is 100, 180 points. So next is the uh, little wolf here. He is 60 points. He has a range of zero, and we get to him here. He has charge. Movement with a movement of 10 or 8. He has 10 attack with precision strikes, 17 defense with toughness, and 2 damage with, with explode weakness. 
Next we have his next click is 8 movement with charge, 10 attack with precision strike, 16 defense with toughness, and 3 damage with exploit weakness. And next we have 8 movement with leap climb, uh, 9 attack with precision strike, 17 defense with toughness, and 2 damage with close combat expert. Next we have 7 movement with leap climb. Uh, 9 attack with blades, claws, fangs, uh, 16 defense with toughness and only 2 damage. And then next click is 7 movement with leap climb, uh, 9 attack with blades, claws, fangs, uh, 16 defense with uh, toughness and 2 damage. Last click is 6 uh, movement, 8 attack, 15 defense with toughness and 1 damage with close combat expert. And that KOs him. Have our Dark Magician girl. Uh, she goes well with the Dark Magician from the uh, starter set. So uh, that would be a good combination to do it there, and I'll explain why right now. So she has a range of seven. She has regular movement. She is 140 points, or she is nine, depending on how you use her. Uh, her first click. Has sidestep with 9 movement. She has penetrating side blast with 11 attack, 18 defense with roll, and 3 damage with probability control. Um, so her next click has 9 movement with uh, uh, sidestep, 10 attack with uh, blast, 17 defense with roll, and 3 damage with uh, probability. Next, she gets different stuff here. She has 8 movement with sidestep. She has 10 uh, attack with penetrating static blast, uh, 17 defense with, uh, she gets invincible, and 3 uh, damage with outlet, which is pretty good. Next, she gets 8 movement with sidestep, 10 attack with penetrating static blast, 17 defense with invincible, and 3 damage with outlet. That's pretty good. Next click is 8 uh, movement, 9 attack with pulse wave, 17 defense with uh, energy deflection, and 3 damage with uh, perplex. Next click is um, 8 movement, 9 attack pulse wave, 16 defense with uh, energy deflection, uh, and 2 damage with uh, perplex. And we have 7 movement, 9 attack with pulse wave, 16 defense with energy shield, and 2 damage with perplex. And she gets her kill. And then here you have a spell card. And you have a trap card. Between her clicks. And that is Dark Magician Girl. And I will explain what her special powers is right now. Essentially, she has a couple things. Uh, she has Arcane Alliance. Give uh, Dark Magician Girl a free action and choose a friendly character with the mystical keyword. Within uh, eight squares, uh, choose up to two abilities on that uh, character possesses, and Dark Magician Girl can use those powers for the until the next turn. That's pretty good. And uh, her. Spell top card powers really not working there. All right, next we have um, Little Red Riding Hood. She's 46 points. She has a range of zero. She has the tiny keyword or the tiny trait. Let's check her out. She has uh, seven movement mind control. She has nine attack, 16 defense with a special, and two damage with uh, perplex. And her special on her uh, two uh, stats. Her, she has a special ability trait called Summon the Hunts uh, Huntsman. When Little Red Riding Hood is KO'd by an opposing character, all friendly characters choose a keyword with the Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, modify the attack uh, values by plus one till the end of the turn. So if they have any of the keywords, or you can choose, uh, looks like. 
Uh, all friendly, just all friendly characters with a key to share a keyword. Get it. So that's pretty good. And her defensive power is called Protect Me. Lower Riding Hood can use Mastermind and transfer damage to characters 75 points or less. Uh, if that character is normal force, named Forest Hunter, uh, it doesn't have to be adjacent. So that's pretty good. So that is the power on Lower Red Riding Hood. And as we continue on her doll, next one, she's got. And 7 movement with Mastermind. 8 attack, 16 defense, and 1 damage with Perplex. And lastly, we have 6 uh, movement. 7 attack, 15 defense, and 1 damage. And KO'd. And down is Low Red Riding Hood. Next, we have the big uh, guy. We'll carry on the Magna Warrior. Um, he has flight. He has a special trait. He is a fusion. He has a range of zero. Uh, but he's 199 points. So he's a big boy. Uh, I'll explain to you what his traits and uh, special attacks are. Well, here's his uh, um, dial. He has t uh, 11. He has a uh, toe movement with charge. He has 11 attack precision strike. 18 defense, impervious, and then 5 damage on his first click. Then he has, next click is 11 movement with charge, 11 attack with precision strike, 18 defense with impervious, and 4 damage with uh, explode weakness. And his next click has 9 movement with charge, or 10 movement with charge, 10 attack with a special, uh, 18 defense impervious, and 4 damage. His next click has uh, 10 movement charge, 10 attack with a special, 18 defense invul, and 4 damage. And then he has, see he is indomitable since he has the cross through his defense. You can push without taking damage. We next have uh, movement, uh, 10 attack charge, uh, 10 attack with a special, 17 defense invul, and 4 damage. Pretty good. And then we have uh, 9 movement with sidestep, 10 attack with a special, 17 defense and 1 4 damage. And then we have next one is 9 movement sidestep, 9 attack, quake, uh, 17 defense toughness, and 3 damage with explode weakness. And then we have Next is 9 sidestep, 9 quake, 17 defense toughness, and 3 damage explode weakness. And next is uh, 9 movement sidestep, 11 attack with quake, uh, 16 defense toughness, and 4 damage explode weakness. And he's KO'd. And the way that this blood boy can come on the board is by using the magnet warriors adjacent to each other to form him. And essentially when one of the magnet warriors uh, makes a attack, if they're all adjacent, um, you can choose one, the one that made the attack, give it a free action, replace these three with Valkyrion, and it goes on the starting click or the click that went on to the character that you uh, attacked with uh, that you uh, used a free action for. So if it's on the second click, Valkyrian will come on click two. If it's on the first click, Valkyrian will come click one, etc., etc. And that's how you use fusion. And it's special trait. It says magnetic warriors. If Valkyrian man warrior is on the map, due to the fusion ability, penetrating damage dealt cannot be reduced. And his attack damage is called magnet sword. He can use precision strike when Valkyrian the man warrior hits a with a close combat attack. After actions resolve, it may use Pulse Wave as if it had a range value of 6 as a free action. Okay. Next, we have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. He is a big boy. He is also a fusion. It says when a ca listed characters are adjacent to all others, uh, after actions resolve, after an attack, 
You may give him a free action to replace these characters with Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon from your sideline. When Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon enters the field, it starts on the same number of clicks as the starting line of the character given the free action modifies its combat values by plus one. So essentially, you just need three Blue Eyes White Dragons on the field, Jason, to uh, summon them. Or just use 350 points to bring them out. Or his other one is 250, so it's two different clicks. He has a range of eight. He's a flyer. So let's see here. Here's his click or his dial. Okay, turn this. All right. First dial. He has 10 movement hypersonic speed, 10, uh, 12 attack with a special, uh, 19 defense when pervious, and 6 damage with leadership. Next we have 10 movement, hypersonic speed, 12 attack with a special, 18 defense with impervious, and um, 5 uh, damage with leadership. Next we have 10 hypersonic speed, 11 attack, 18 defense, uh, impervious, and 4 damage with leadership. Next we have 10 attack running shot, 10 attack special, 17 defense, with uh, Vol and 4 damage. Next we have 10 uh, running shot, 10 attack special, 17 defense and vulnerability and 4 damage. Next we have uh, ten, uh, 9 running shot, 10 attack special, 17 defense and vulnerability and 4 damage. It's pretty good. Next we switch it up a bit. 9 movement sidestep, 10 attack uh, pulse wave, 17 defense toughness, and 3 damage. And then we get to this click, 9 movement uh, sidestep, 9 attack pulse wave, or uh, energy, energy explosion, um, 17 defense uh, toughness, and 3 damage. Then we have... 8 movement, sidestep, 9 attack, uh, energy explosion, uh, 16 defense, invul, and 3 damage. Next click, we have uh, 8 movement, sidestep, 9 attack, uh, energy explosion, uh, 16 defense, invul, and 3 damage. So, that's pretty good. So he's maintaining a good amount of power. Next we have 7 movement sidestep, 8 attack, uh, energy explosion, 16 defense and 4 damage. And he's killed. So he has a full 11 bars of, of health. Pretty beefy. And finally, we have Jinzo, which is the LE promo from the OP kit for uh, Series 2. He has a range of 7, he has 155 points. Uh, he has an undominant role, so he can push without taking damage as a trait. So let's see him. He has 8 moon phasing teleport, 11 attack with a special, 17 defense with a special, and 4 damage at wit. Then we have 8 movement phasing teleport, 11 attack with a special, 17 defense with a special, and 3 damage at wit. And then we have 8 phasing teleport, 11 attack with a special, 16 defense with a special and 4 damage. And then we have 8 attack with running shot, 10 attack with special, 16 defense with special, and 3 damage. And then we have 8 movement running shot, 10 attack, 16 defense, energy, explo energy uh, deflection, and 3 damage with uh, range combat expert. And then we have. 8 attack, or 8 movement with a uh, side uh, uh, step. We have 10 attack, 17 defense with energy deflection, and 3 damage with uh, range combat expert. And next we have 8 movement with side step, 10 attack, uh, 16 defense with energy deflection, and 2 damage with range combat expert. And it's KO'd. That was the review on this uh, as far as clicks. All in all, I think it is a good set to play with in itself. 
took it to a tournament today, a couple figures, and uh, it's not as up to date as the uh, newer ones. Uh, fun if you love Yu Gi Oh! Fun if you're playing casually. If, if you get into a tournament or competitive, wouldn't recommend it necessarily. But if you love Yu Gi Oh! You love collecting Hero Clicks, you love collecting Yu Gi Oh! You want to try these out, you know, whatever. Good collector's item. I mean, and good overall models. You just uh, would want to keep it within the theme of what you're playing. So that was my uh, honest opinion on it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, the link to the eBay, uh, my eBay store will be in the description. So look for that. Uh, I will have a view or a video in the next couple days on some Heroclix Thor Ragnarok uh, gravity feeds. Stay tuned for those. Uh, I will see you all later. Hope you enjoyed this review and uh, peace out. And always remember if you like my videos and want to see more, remember to like, hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe for more videos. And happy gaming!